Hi guys, so this is another new moon reading this time for September and sorry for not doing the last two ones but we were away with little Josefina in Europe visiting our family so I didn't really have time to do any she is very chatty today so hopefully you will be able to hear me <laughs> so let's dive into it as always this card is about what is good to let go with this new moon this one is about what's good to let in and this one's uh, like a guidance card that will help you with putting these two into practice. So, for the letting go card, we got the seven of wands this time. And wands are always about actions because they are connected to the element of fire. So they are very passionate and very actionable cards. And the seven is a number of courage in tarot. As you can see from the picture, it's all about shining your light against all odds and just standing tall and yeah, and knowing that whatever you believe in or whatever you want to do or need is the right thing for you. However, this one came upside down, upside down which means that uh, here it's in the opposite uh, meaning than the usual one is. And it's also on the letting go position so what it means is that it's time to let go of the fear of being the light bearer for yourself and for standing you know against maybe what feels like the whole world sometimes and letting go of feeling small and not shining bright letting go of uh, feeling uncertain about yourself about your values and beliefs because now it's the time when you actually do stay tall and trust your inner guidance and God. Now, what you're supposed to let in, here we have four cups. And cups are connected to the element of water, so that means emotions. They're always about emotion and love and things like that. Now, the four is always a number of balance and stability. So again, like the usual meaning, because the card was upside down over here as well, the usual meaning of this card is finding balance in between giving and receiving. However, since it was upside down over here, what you should let in this month is actually forgetting about filling everyone else's cups for a while and about giving and focusing more on what you need, what you want, what's important for you. So let's say being a little bit selfish maybe or what someone would call selfish but actually the truth is being more self-loving and protecting your own energy and being aware of when you have enough and when you don't have enough and then filling your own cup now what's going to help you in putting these two cards into practice is the guidance card and that's an oracle card from my connected and free oracle deck and the throat chakra came up and the throat chakra is always about voicing your needs and wants and beliefs and putting them into words they can be even taught or written or it doesn't really matter just expressing yourself and what you need and want in that very moment so if you don't know what it is that you are actually standing for or if you don't know what your fears around you know, speaking your own truth and following your inner fire is just sit down and write about it, journal about it or speak about it with somebody. The same applies to this card. Like if you're not sure whether your giving and receiving ability is in balance, whether you have filled your own cup or not, just journal about it a little bit about what you would like more of or less of in your life and that will make you realize where you're standing at okay so to summarize it letting go with this month is the fear and hesitation of moving forward to your calling and feeling like you're completely alone in this which might feel that way but actually that's only because this situation is here to uh, build your inner trust and uh, strength. What you should let in instead is focusing on yourself and filling your own cup instead of thinking about what everyone else needs. And what will help you to put these 
two things into practice is the throat chakra. So forcing your needs, wants and beliefs or expressing them in any way that just feels right for you. Like Josefina is expressing herself very loudly today. <laughs> she shows you how to do it. Josefina! <laughs> yeah, she's got a lot of wisdom to share. So <laughs> hopefully it made sense, guys. Thanks for watching. Here are my <laughs> super cute socks with my shoes. And I'll see you next month. Bye.